If you're frustrated that you feel like you're constantly talking to prospects and sending out proposals, and yet most of the time you lose the sale, then this video is for you. Because today I want to talk about sales, the thing that nobody wants to do, but is at the core, the lifeblood of your business. Because let's face it, without sales, there is no business. Now I can speak from personal experience because I used to really struggle with closing clients. The way that I would get clients was constantly networking, having meetings with everybody. When I finally found a prospect, I would have multiple meetings with them. I would write them long proposals and then they either would disappear or they wouldn't close or they would say yes and then they would disappear. It was incredibly frustrating because it was all of this energy and work and I had nothing to show for it. Turns out I was going about the whole thing all wrong and I want to share with you what I have learned. The first reason that you're probably losing the sale is because you're probably talking too much. If you want to impress a client, what is the first thing everybody does? We start to explain and we want to show off what we know. We want to show them that we understand what we do, that we're eloquent, that we're smart, and we start dumping information on these prospects. Sometimes we end up giving a lot of information because they don't really understand the value of what we do. This is particularly true in the branding space, in the strategy space. We feel like we have to educate clients because they don't understand what branding is and they certainly don't understand why they have to pay more for it or why it's so valuable. The problem is when you speak more than you listen, you do not impress you bore and you shut people down. So instead, I want you to close your mouth and open your ears. The best way to sell somebody on your services and to show off that you know what you're talking about is to ask good questions and then shut up and listen. The second reason you're probably losing the sale is because the people you're talking to don't have a problem that they either are aware of or that they want to solve or that they're willing to pay to solve. It's if I were to come up to you and hand you a couple of Advil. And you said, yeah, but I don't have a headache. And I said, just take the Advil anyway. How would you feel? And how different would it be if you came to me and you said, oh my God, my head is killing me. Do you have any medicine? And I said, oh yeah, sure. Here's two Advil. That's the difference. And a lot of times we find ourselves speaking to people who don't have a headache and we're telling them that they need Advil. It's never going to work. So unless you're speaking to someone who actually has a problem that you can solve, that they want to solve, you're never going to close that client. Another reason you might be losing the sale is because you just don't have confidence in what you have to offer and what you're selling. This is a huge reason when you don't have confidence in what you're offering, we, the prospects can tell. If you don't believe that you are the best person to solve this person's problem, they won't either, no matter how much you try to fake it. My recommendation is don't try to fake it, okay? Show up and sell the thing that you do have confidence in. And when you sell that and deliver and build that confidence in yourself by delivering value and having clients give you the feedback that they do appreciate what you have to offer, then you can continually expand your offering to keep growing your confidence. But if you are trying to sell things that you've never sold before and pretending that you have, we can smell your disingenuineness. And that is a major reason why people lose the sale because they're trying to front like they can do something that they really know that they can't do and everybody can tell. Another reason you might be losing the sale is because you're not the best fit for your client because you're a generalist. Now it might not be because you wouldn't do a good job, I'm sure that you would, but your client is probably looking at a couple of different options and if they ran into somebody who is a specialist in their field, they're likely going to hire them instead. So instead of trying to be everything to everyone, your goal and your strategy needs to be that you specialize in something. Because if you're that specialist, you're going to steal the client away from the other generalists. Another reason you might feel like you're always losing the sale is because you're spending way too much of your time trying to sell one prospect instead of spending that time finding and nurturing lots of leads and then having a much shorter sales process so that you can quickly weed out who's going to buy and who isn't. My solution to this is to have a no-brainer lead product at a no-brainer price and offer that instead of a proposal. I have other videos that explain what that means, but the difference between spending a lot of your time, the majority of your time, trying to close just a couple of clients versus spending the majority of your time finding lots of good 
leads and then quickly closing the ones that make sense for you is all the difference in terms of making sales and closing clients and being able to raise your prices. I teach all of this and more inside the No BS Agency Mastery Program. Before I go, I have one more bonus reason that you are losing the sale and feeling frustrated. It's because you think everybody's supposed to close. Not everyone is a good fit for you, nor should everyone hire you. And if we go into the lead generation and sales world with a mindset of thinking that everybody we talk to is supposed to close and every time we lose them, it's a loss, then we're going to feel really bad about ourselves and our value in the world. But everyone you talk to and even every prospect who says they might want to hire you are not necessarily people that you want to work with. And if you get really clear about understanding the difference between people who might pay you versus clients you actually want who are going to help you build your business and build the value in your business, get really clear on that and you're going to stop seeing losses and no's as a negative thing. In fact, you're going to see them as a relief. And I've seen so many people in my program make this mindset shift where they actually tell me their wins are, oh my God, win. I had somebody who wanted to hire me and I told them no, because I saw what a nightmare they were going to be. And I feel so free now that I'm not working with that person. And I can invest that time in finding the clients I want to work with. Thanks for watching.